Today on Voice of Restoration. The matter of Israel, the what, the why of Jerusalem, the land, God, and God's people. Your position with Israel now is critical. Can I tell you this? If you are one of those Christians, the money can change your stand. You will not only miss the rapture, you will lose your salvation very soon. Hear me! Whose influence is controlling you? Teaching us to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. This is Voice of Restoration, raising an army of true believers. The matter of Israel, the what, the why of Jerusalem, the land, God, and God's people. Now, I'm going to tell you, something happened on December 23. In December 23, there was a United Nations Security Council resolution. Traditionally, America had always been there for Israel to veto any malicious resolution against the state of Israel. But as a parting gift by Obama, so Netanyahu. Up to the last moment, there was no indication that that was what they were going to do. They gave instruction that America should abstain. And the moment America abstained, every the resolution went through that it is now illegal for Israel. To be in Jerusalem and to be in the settlement area. In fact, the moment that resolution starts working, Israel and the Jews have no business, even Christians, they have no business in Jerusalem. There's a danger of ignorance when you are wrongly spiritually positioned. Do you know it is suicidal to be in, God's, in the house of God's enemy when God is throwing stones? The claim of ignorance cannot save you. I want to give you three examples of when you are wrongly positioned, you can be in trouble importance of correct time positioning. Starting from the first example, number 16, 2 to 3, 6 to 7, 11 to 13, 19 to 21, 24, 26, and 27, 32, and 33. I'll give you the story quickly. The sons of Korah, Ber Ab uh, Datan and Abiran, and the Korharites, they came and challenged the authority of Moses and Nero. And they said, These you guys, we are all spiritual. God is talking to all of us. Why did you give yourself extra, extra positions? You just want to elevate. And Moses tried to plead with them, and they said, No. And God got angry. And God said, Moses, step aside. I will prove. Now, any time there is such issue, when God says some people step aside, I want you to pray, God, where should I stand? Hello? Don't forget. God, where must I stand? Listen, you, God may talk, me, God, you and God may eat Amala. You finish Amala together. God is only the one that helped you wipe your finger. By the time God say, take a position. And you take a position with God's enemy. 
the wrath will be on you. Irrespective of the fact that you and him just finished eating together. Go and check that story because I don't want to go too much. Go and check that story. When Moses said, okay, let everybody bring out their censor. Bringing out their censor implies that they are spiritual people. Implies that they are ministering to God. And say, oh yeah, you stay at your gate, I'll stay on this side. And God said, if they die natural death, I did not call Moses. And the Bible said the ground opened and swallowed Korah, Datan, and Abiran, and all his household. Amen? Praise the Lord. The ground opened and swallowed all of them. Is that what you read? Now, let's read Numbers 26, 9 to 11. That summarizes everything. Numbers 26, 9 to 11. And the sons of Eliab, mm-hmm. Nemua, and Datan, mm-hmm. and Abiram. Mm-hmm. This is that Datan and Abiram which were famous in the congregation. Can you imagine? They were famous. That means they were influential. Hear me. Whose influence is controlling you? They were what? Influential. Continue. Who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah? In the company of who? Korah. Continue. When they strove against the Lord, Mm -hmm. and the earth opened their mouth Mm -hmm. and swallowed them up together with Korah. Now, if you go to the other part, if you go to the number 16, the Bible says, and the earth opened their mouth and swallowed them, and their houses. And all the men that are pertaining to Korah and all their goods. They and all that are pertaining to them went down alive in pit. And they had close upon them. And they perished from the congregation. That's what the Bible said in Numbers 16. Now here, Numbers 26. Now, read your place where I said the earth opened her mouth. Yeah? And the earth opened her mouth mm-hmm. and swallowed them up mm-hmm. together with Korah. Mm-hmm. When, they, when that company died, mm-hmm. what time the fire devoured 250 men and they became a sign. They became what? They became what? Now read the next sentence. Notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not. It will, it will. <laughs> I thought the Bible said everything that had to do with Korah and all his house and all his everything died. But notwithstanding, notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not. What happened? They prayed better. What do you think happened? You see, you should have asked me. I was there. Let me tell you what happened. Now, I want you to imagine this is Moses and Aaron. Don't be angry. We are Moses and Aaron. (laughs) Hallelujah. Imagine I, you set your position and we will set our position. If God be God, let him prove himself. And people set your position. You know what? You know what George and uh, Bayo did? We oh, yeah, start coming here. Now, the father of these two guys was angry. Are you? You are no longer. Uh, they said. Mm -mm. You know what they did? They changed their location. The moment they changed their location, the ground opened. As far as those who are keeping the records, everybody died. They did not notice that these two people moved because they were too minor. Compared to the people remaining, they moved. So you go and sit down. You go and sit down. Now, when these people continued the walk, these people will appear. 
they continue part of the work. Go and see that. As soon as that regime died, the sons of Korah continue working for God. You know why? They knew when to switch location. I'm sure you see, I don't, I still, I'm not convinced. By mouth of two or more witnesses, God will confirm whether what he's saying is true. Second Kings, chapter 3. I will not read the whole verse. Just see, take the scriptures. Suddenly, the son of Ahab, Jehoram, wanted to go to war with some kings that rebelled against him. Is it not his right? Then he went to meet the king of Judah, Jehoshaphat, and said, You are my brother. We are same Pentecostals together. We speak in tongues. The way we do our services are come and join me and fight this people. Then they called the king of Edom to join them. And the three of them were moving together. And suddenly they got to a point and they got to a dead point. And first of all, the way there was no, no water, no food. They have made so much journey and if they turn back, the people, everybody would die before they get back to where they go. They saw one of them say, wow, God has gathered the three kings to this place so that we can die. They were panicking. And Joseph had said, okay, wait a moment. Is there, not a, is, there not, don't we, is there not a man of God that we can consult? He takes somebody who is still sensitive to remember that we can call God. The others are calculating. Go and do. Let's go and let's consult the economic team. Okay? So they called Elisha. And if you go to that story, it was, you don't see they called, that will, have, that will be the first contact of Elisha with the political powers. When they called Elisha, somebody said, there, a Jerobian said, there, Eli, there's Elisha there. Who used to pour water into the hands of Elijah? He do share Elijah. I'm do Elijah. The, the way they described him was so derogatory. That's the same way na, na, Naba described David. Derogatory, hear me. Be careful about how you make derogatory statements against men of God. If they are pushing you, don't push yourself. Whether the man of God had or not, be careful. It's the one that poured water into the hands of Elijah. Somebody that you have said the regret you works a bit, let him pray for you 10 million times. We'll go to work. So, Jehoshaphat insisted, the way he insisted the other time, insisted, they went to call Elisha. When Elisha got there, he looked at them. The anointing on Elisha, as soon as he saw the three of them, the anointing went away. When you are wrongly positioned, the anointing may not work. Instead of anointing, wrath. God's wrath came. And Elisha said, If not, that I see the presence of Joseph among you, I will not seek God's face on your behalf. And even with that, Elisha could not do anything. He had to say they should go and call a minstrel. And they had to play worship God in a way that brought the anointing before he could tell them what to do. Wrong positioning can bring God's judgment over you. 
If not that God had Jehoshaphat and he knew what to do, Jehoshaphat would have died with all of them. Third example. This is the one that people don't really notice. David. Do you know that God has promised that when we go to war, it's going to cover our real reward? Something happened. David was running away from, uh, from Saul. And he had moved to Ziglag among the Philistines to hide. Now the Philistines want to fight Israel. Hallelujah. And you know in those days when you want to fight, there's a battle line. How many people remember? Unlike now that you just use anti-ballistic missiles and all that. There was a battle line and they were looking at each other. Israel was on the other side. Philistines were on the other side. And do you know among the Philistines were who? David and his army. You want to confuse the angel of God? Now, the angel of God is, is between the two of them. Assuming the angel of God is standing here, Israel is here, Philistines are here, but among the Philistines are children of God. So what will God do? God had to instigate the Philistines to send David home. But that little dislocation, time dislocation, to stand with the enemies of God against Israel had its consequence. By the time he got on, what has happened? Is all their wives, children, everything had been taken away in captivity. Everything taken away. God, they had to seek God the same way Joseph had sought God. And God brought restoration. Why did I go into that? In this year, concerning Israel, you must know where you stand. It does not matter how anointed you are before this time. May, your shadow may be healing the sick. Hear me. When you want to talk, you, in 24 hours, when you talk, you only speak English for one hour. The other time, you tongue. If your positioning is wrong concerning Israel, you are gone. Is that right? Listen. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me push a little bit further. So now that we are know the importance of right positioning, where are we supposed to be right now? Every true Christian, where are you supposed to be? What are you? What should be the focus of your messages? I want you to know it is impossible for you to have been saved without Israel. There is no Christianity without Judaism. Settle it. There is no Christianity without Jews. Can I tell you something that will shock you? Please don't tell another person. The entire Bible they are holding is written by Jews. And lastly, God said, Israel is my firstborn. So whatever happened to the firstborn is coming back on the other children, on the siblings. All of us endured eight years of Obama. Then every country will be visited by persecution of the Christians. When I told some people, I said the coming of Trump is just a mercy of God. To give us time to recover. Before we enter tribulation. Persecution is coming, no doubt. But I just want you to watch something. Please, everybody look at me. 
watch what is going to happen to the tone of this nation when Trump becomes president. Watch it. Suddenly, Angela... Who thought her name is Anima Shao? Open her doors for the influx of jihadists. On New Year message, she said the greatest problem of Germany now is the influx of Islamic uh, jihadists. A sword dust was in your brain when you opened your door. Let me tell you, it was not that they had sword dust in their brain. The pressure the Obama government was bearing on all of them was too much. Suddenly, what's the name of the Prime Minister of uh, Britain? Theresa May is now voicing, now that everybody has seen that Trump is beginning to, is now voicing that, that America was wrong to abstain. Let me, give you a, let me give you a sign to watch. You know everybody is saying oh, oh, Trump is stupid. Trump is a madman. Trump is this. Just wait. As the day is approaching, you see everybody's head correct. What happened to, what happened to GM Motors? What happened to Ford? Their investments in Mexico, they quickly stopped it and brought it to the fear of Trump is the beginning of. <laughs> for his inauguration, they were looking for people who will sing, who will talk. All of them gang up. They say they are not talking. They want to, uh, Beyonce, all of them, they say they are not, they are siding Obama. The man just went to call Franklin Graham. Franklin Graham. Is one of the most radical Christians that you have in the United States. Eight years of Obama, Obama could not stand him. Throughout eight years of Obama, nobody can mention Jesus in the White House. Franklin Haram is the one that is going to speak on the inauguration. And you are going to see Jesus mention, 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 mention. Brother, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you don't, dis you don't belong to Issachar. Every tribe in Israel has its function. It is only the tribe of Issachar that is the spiritual military intelligence for Israel. They are the ones that will sense what will happen and tell Israel what to do. Go and check the Kuba Silahandi. Sons of Issachar were not reported to hold any weapon. Their spiritual sensitivity was their weapon. That is the brethren. Don't lose your sensitivity. It will be a shame on the day of rapture that some people will come here and they find some people holding service. You understand me? I'm, I'm praying for myself and I'm praying for you that after rapture, there won't be a member of our church left behind. Because you know your positioning. Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, mm -hmm. said your God. Mm -hmm. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her mm -hmm. that our warfare is accomplished, mm -hmm. that our iniquity is pardoned. Mm -hmm. For she hath received of the Lord, Lord, the Lord's hand, double for all her sins. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness Prepare ye the way of the Lord. 
make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hills shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the high mountains. O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his walk before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather his lambs with his hand and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those who are with young. Amen. Amen. Look at that scripture. Now let me tell you how God spoke to me about this scripture. Let us meditate as believers in God through the love of Christ in 2017 on the following. Take each point and contemplate to see if God is speaking to you. The statement says your God is talking to who? Hold on. Read that first verse again. Comfort ye. Everybody read it together. I want to go. Comfort ye. Comfort ye, my people. Said your God. God told Isaiah to tell. Comfort. Give me that scripture again. Comfort you. Comfort you, comfort you, my people. Seek your God. Now, who is to be comforted? Who is to be comforted? Who is to be comforted? Okay. This message was sent. He said, comfort you, comfort you, my people. Yes, God's people. You are, you are good. Abi? Now, Comfort you, comfort you, comfort you, my people. See it, your God. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where we see whether God is confused. Mira, Alex, just move closer. Everybody, see you. Look at the way he's smiling. Can you see he's smiling? Can you imagine if Brother Alex is smiling and I said, comfort, comfort yourself, comfort yourself. Is there not something wrong with me? Eh? Somebody is smiling. I said, comfort yourself. Is, it, is there some, not something wrong with me? Are you following me? Who is the person that you, you tell to be comforted? Somebody who is either in distress or in... Good. Now, let's imagine he's in one kind of a distress. And I say, comfort yourself, comfort yourself, comfort yourself. What am I telling you? I, I'm telling you? To com comfort myself. Okay, so you can comfort yourself. Yes. Okay. Good. I mean, no, no, no. That he can comfort himself. Yes. That's, why, that's why the Bible wrote it that way. We are going to sit down. Um, I want a sister who knows. Aha, I know how to do it. I'm looking for a sister that just had a baby. Somebody who has a fresh experience. They're on that side. Now, you remember the experience when the prophet was coming? You remember? Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine when the thing was doing, and somebody said, comfort, comfort yourself, comfort yourself. What would that mean to you? <laughs> eh? He, he, doesn't, he, eh? he doesn't make sense, you know? Hallelujah, please go and sit down then. 
listen, the person that is in distress and you are telling him, comfort yourself, comfort yourself, you are talking jargons. I don't even understand what I'm talking about. You are talking jargons. I remember Pastor Chris was talking about when he said somebody is already in pain. He has headache or he has, he's in pain. You are not telling him, have faith, have faith. He said, you are stupid. At that time, you have faith. You pray for him. When he's beginning to rise, he will have. That's why the Bible said we should stand for each other. I remember several years ago when my last daughter passed on. Titi. And we were in elder, we were in uh, brother um, Godwin in his house. And we just, the baby just died. And my wife was crying. And, and I went to, with some people to handle the burial. And we came back. And she, she talked. So when we came back, she said, where is Titi? Where is Titi? I said, she's gone. And she started crying. And I said, oh yeah, mm, all right. Baby. <laughs> and I started shouting at her, come on, stop. <laughs> But I got the hazel, say, Ratox, if you don't leave this woman, I will beat you. <laughs> I, will, I will beat you, black and blue. Get out of this place. Are you following me? Somebody who is in distress, what did the Bible say we should do to that person? Comfort. It is not the position of the person that is in distress to be comfort himself. So, what is this statement saying? It's saying that somebody who is not in the same level of distress is telling another person, be comforted. It's a different thing if God, you know, God is saying that some people that are also his people to comfort another people that are also his people. I'm able to understand what I'm talking about. This is what the way God explained it to me. When I said, God, are you telling me that this is what you are telling the church in 2017? He said, I will explain it to you. Go to Isaiah 40. And when I got there, I've read this scripture before. I thought Israel is to comfort Israel. Until he said, how can Israel comfort Israel? When Israel is in distress. He said, this is one of those prophecies that have multiple fulfillments. They used it for John the Baptist, but that was not the full fulfillment. It is now that is the full fulfillment. Because now, the siblings of the firstborn are to comfort the firstborn. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? So now you know why I came to the church with, with, with Talit. I was, I was not doing masquerade. Let me tell you, only few Christians know their responsibility to Israel at this moment. God is saying, comfort ye, my people, see it, your God. The only people that can comfort Israel right now are the people that know their God and will do exploits. None of those who came to God because of chewing God. Next verse. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that our warfare is accomplished. Now listen, for those who said Israel is to comfort you, how can Israel be comfortable to itself? Somebody, a third party, who also have the same God with Israel, is to speak comfortably with her. Am I making sense? You don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this. Cry unto her that our warfare is accomplished. Which nation has been under war all these years? 
that our iniquity is pardoned. Which nation have everybody in the world been punishing? That she has received of the Lord's hand double, double. for her sin. There's only one nation that had to receive more than double for her sin. The nation that say crucify. John chapter 1 say he came unto his own and he saved his own. And to them that believed on him I received given the power to become those who became sons of God are the ones that is not talking to comfort him. Come on, give the Lord a clap of hands. Maybe you don't understand why your position with Israel now is critical. Can I tell you this? If you are one of those Christians that money can change your stand, you will not only miss the rapture, you will lose your salvation very soon. Is this an advice or, or a directive? Yes. The instruction to speak comfort to Jerusalem, warfare ended, iniquity pardoned, is meant for who in 2017 to carry out? When more is this directive to a people more relevant? More relevant, okay. And appropriate. appropriate and critical. Let me tell you, if the God of Israel stops being alive, you better die too. Because that's your hope. If the God of Israel dies, you better die. But whether you like it or not, he is the God of Israel. That woman said it. He said, because Jesus said it to the woman. He said, because salvation is of the Jews. Go and rewrite your own. I stand here. I declare without any fear. I stand with Israel. I stand with Israel. I stand with Israel. I say I stand with Israel. Let them throw all the bombs. I stand with Israel. We may not be many, but I stand with Israel. I stand with Israel. That's the right position now. When everybody abandons them, God is now looking. Who are my people? Who are the brothers of Israel? Speak in tongues 10 million times. If you miss the right position and you are gone. Do you know what they call intifada? How many of you know what is called intifada? Intifada is the terminology that they used. Let me tell you something. Everybody has brain. There is Islamic brain and there is Israeli brain. Israeli brains bring up in inventions. Go and check. Every time these e Arabs, they think of new invention. You know what their invention is all about? Destroy Israel. Destroy Israel. So there was a time they came up with an invention. Let's tone them. So they started. In the days of PLO, Yasser Arafat, up Tony, what they stoned the the you think stoning when we, when Satan entered the stone, you will know how many people you want to kill. When they stone, 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 kill people, and the, the Israeli soldiers shoot one person, even wound, it should be news all over the world. That they killed innocent people. The person that was stoned st almost killed you with stone. They say, well, How can you fight? Somebody is stoning you. You use gun. So the whole Israel will stop their work. They will not go to work. They too will be carrying stone all over the place. They want to stone. When you don't know that the next person to you has a stone, that's what they call intifada. 
Now let me tell you spiritually. The moment you open your mouth on any matter against Israel that is contrary to Israel, what you are doing is intifada. If you are not sure, keep your mouth. Do you need to be told to speak comfortable to a people that are in comfort already? No. No. Okay. Prepare the way of the Lord. Why is this message, which was supposed to have been fulfilled by John the Baptist, staring you and I in the face now in 2017? At the time of John, this prepared the way of the Lord was carved out, seemingly deliberately out of the context to fit for John the Baptist. Now in 2017, after the very topical issue of the recent UN Security Council of December 2016, isn't this now more exact and fittingly relevant when men are saying, did anything bad ever happen against the Jew? People are, do you know that? They are now saying it is the Jews that are really doing things against people. They are turning it backward and they, they are financing. Listen, imagine a university. Government used to fund you. Suddenly, there are no funds on the government anymore. And the people come, they, call, they say they send their foundation. And they say they want to start financing your research work. Now, imagine the lecturer. This lecturer, the last time he collects salary was June last year. And the foundation came and said, you said you are doing some research on uh, biochemistry. Okay, this is, first of all, first installment, $50,000. And you are, they say, oh, we understand you want, to, you want to go for sabbatical leave. You are still wondering. They pay your ticket. They went to this. They soon, suddenly, while you are there, they tell you that, listen, can you do another research for us? It looks as if in the DNA of Jews, there is a wickedness there. Hello? Remember, until your foundation came to come and sponsor your university, your car done this smoke in their hemp. Your children, they were being sent out from school. Your wife, when she's going to market, she has to do a lot, bring calculator to the calculation. Now, the foundation is already sponsoring, you know, they even repaired the school. They even changed, they, they built new laboratories, the phone. Now they're asking you, can you help us do a research? What is the problem in the DNA of Jews? And they found it. Uh -huh. You will now come back and tell the foundation that what you saw there is that they are the blessed of the world. Eh? <laughs> you will do that. You will do that. That is what is happening all over the world right now. Sometimes those foundations are not named with Arab names. The names are hidden. But the people behind those foundations are and what they are doing is they are influencing the world gradually. Whoever pays the piper will dictate the team. Continue. They are claiming Holocaust and Auschwitz never happened. Mm -hmm. They are working on erasing the fact away with Arabic Islamic petrol dollars. They say no six million Jew, half a million blacks, 20 million Russians and Poles, 10 million Christians were murdered in cold blood, used for cruel experiments, tortured, gassed, burned, raped, beaten and dehumanized in Germany. Hello, look at me. If you cannot serve God in this time, is it the time of Holocaust you will have served God? Do you know what they did? Many people think it was only the Jews that they killed. Actually, at that time, when they did their classification, they classified the blacks with the Jews. We, we are useless people, according to them. They, we are not worth anything. 
there was a time to be a Jew is to be a devil. And let me tell you this. I want to tell you some things you don't know. How many of you have had the word crusade? Crusade. How many of you have had the crusaders? Now, the people that were called crusaders were wicked people. Ungodly, demonic, and luciferians. But they used to carry the cross. Actually, the word crusade comes from a French word, the cross carriers. Their job was to go and destroy Jews and regain the Holy Land from the Jews. They were carrying cross and they were killing Jews. Carrying cross and killing Jews. That is why the Jew, when they see you with a cross, they see you as an enemy. When they hear the word crusade, they think you are one of them. Christians, if you don't know this history, you will not know how to minister. Are you getting information today? Those who are the called that are called the, the knights. You know, today they still make some people knights. The, the knights of the Templar. These people will go there, they will go to the Middle East, destroy people, destroy Jews, and gather their wealth and bring it to Europe. And then when they enrich the Pope and the, 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 the kings of those times, they will give them titles. So, in the psyche of every Jew, everybody in the world, especially those who carry cross, are their enemies. There was a case in which they gathered Jews in the synagogue. There was something. The Jews all ran into a synagogue. Crusaders carrying the cross. Gathered around them. Make sure that they all they sealed the doors and put them on fire. While the Jews were burning, they were going around. All hail Jesus. All hail Jesus. All hail Jesus. All hail Jesus. So why do you expect that a Jew will see you? As his friend. Why do you think you say you have a crusade and a Jew will come there? I'm sure you are hearing me now. I'm sure you now know how to pray this year. I'm sure you now know the reason why God said, Comfort ye, my people. Speak comfortably to them that our warfare is ended. If you don't know the right time to speak these words, this is it. It is not 19, 2017, the year of prosperity. This is the first commandment. 